big features that are removed or changed. The biggest one we were kind of prepping customers for is the 32-bit um, server support. So if you're running a server 2008 32-bit, that is not a supported operating system for Connect. 2008 R2 64-bit, 2012 R2 are, are, are the only two supported OSs for Connect. So if you are on the 32-bit version of 2008, you will want to plan a, a server migration you know, to a newer version so that you can be ready um, down the road for a Connect update. Microsoft Office versions, older than 2010, they have certified 2010 going forward all the way to 2016 for Office 365 users. All of the, all the current versions, I'm running Office 2016, Travis is running it, it's, it's fully certified on the Connect platform. So we don't get too many customers that are running to the older than 2010, but we do have a handful of, of, of customers that are still in the 2007 working to, to get off of it. So just one thing to note. In your desktop client, there's a contacts tab that you're probably all used to using the contacts tab. The tab has been replaced by like a favorites option, so it'll be a little bit different as I demo it. Uh, you you kind of get rid of the tab views on the bottom and they kind of go to the, the left side of the client. So just remember if it's contacts, it's now in favorites on the, on the new client. And like I mentioned before, the new ECC client does not integrate into the desktop client. So for, you, for ECC customers, your agents will have a desktop client and a website you know, to control their ECC status and to look at the queues and stuff like that on their ECC. So it is a, definitely a change in you know, how, we, how you train those agents and stuff like that because they will have two different applications they have to use as far as controlling their short of phone and their extension and taking calls for their uh, for their queues. The new desktop client does not dock top or bottom on the screen, which I didn't have that many customers I found that actually utilize that, so I don't think it'll be a big deal, but it does dock left and right still on the screen, so it still makes it uh, dockable so you can use the rest of your space uh, on your screen for other applications. I will tell you the new application, as, you're, as you see me demoing it, it starts out really small, but then anything I do in it, it kind of expands it out, and it can end up taking up your whole screen if you're using it for like desktop sharing or, or, or presentations or things like that as part of meetings. So, Other feature removed is if you're looking to do any kind of link integration, Link 2010 is no longer supported, so uh, there is a, some new integrations in Connect for Skype for Business. If you want to allow your Skype for Business client to control your Shortel phone, that is an option. Shortel has a, a built-in um, connector for that and there's no charge you know to have that connector so it's not like an extra license you got to buy for to, to have the Skype capability for inside of connect 